Welcome to episode one of the Blue Collar Coder Introduction to React series. I'm Jack Harrington, at Jaher on Twitter. I'm really excited you're here, and I'm happy to help you skill up on React. So a couple of things before we get started. First, React is built on top of HTML, JS, and CSS. So if you're feeling like you're not completely fluent in any of those, you're probably going to want to use some of the description the links down in the description to kind of skill up on that before you jump into this course. For example, on the HTML side, you want to know about tags like div, input, button, table. On the CSS side, we're going to do some text formatting as well as some grid layout. And then on the JS side, object, arrays, functions, all of these things you're going to want to have a pretty decent grasp of before you get into React. Now, on the second note, Blue Collar Coder is all about practical use of skills. So this is going to be a practical course. I'm not going to go and dig into every nook and cranny in the React ecosystem. There is a lot out there. But I can guarantee you that by the end of this, you'll be able to create really cool React apps for yourself and be able to work on a team of, with other React developers. And then third, in kind of true blue collar coder fashion, we're going to start a little bit in reverse. We're going to do deployment first. In this video, you're going to learn how to create and deploy your own React app. And why are we doing that first? Well, I want you to understand how React apps are structured in their use of HTML, JS, and CSS and deployed to a web server. And secondly, I just think it's really cool that you can go and deploy your app to GitHub pages for free and have it used by anybody in the world. I just think that's really neat. And I want you to be able to go and show all the cool stuff that you're learning to your friends, your family, your coworkers, and whomever you want. All right, without further ado, let's go jump into building your first React app and let's get at it. So to create our first React app, we're going to look at the create a new React app page on the React site. And we're going to scroll down to create React app, which is a handy little helper application that makes it easy to create React apps. And now to use that, we use MPX. Now, if you don't have Node installed, you probably don't have MPX. So in order to get Node installed, you want to have a look at NVM, or the Node Version Manager. There's a link to that in the description. And you can use the OS specific installation instructions down in installing and updating to install a recent version of Node. I'd suggest something like Node 12 into your system. Now, let's say that we have MPX installed. Let's go follow this. So, we're going to use MPX Create React App. And then I'm going to use Starting React as the name. And that takes a little while to complete. I've sped it up here for you. And then I'll CD into starting React and do code dot, which brings up VS code in that directory. And then from there, I'll bring up the terminal. And I can do yarn start to start the application. And if everything's worked fine, you'll see this really nice spinning React logo next to your code. So now in the next few videos, we're obviously going to drill down into that and see how that works. But right now, we're just going to deploy it. So we'll stop that and we'll go over and take a look at the instructions that are in the Create React documentation. For deployment, so I'm going to search for deploy. Go to the deployment page, and there's a link to that in the description. If you just want to get there the easy way. And I'll scroll down to GitHub pages, because that's what we're going to use for our deploy. And the first step with that is to have a GitHub repo. So let's go over to GitHub. Now, if you don't have an account, you're going to want to create one. I already have one. And I'm going to jump in my repositories tab and then select a new repository and put in the same name starting react. I'll just copy and paste it in there and then I'll create a simple description. Doesn't really matter. It's optional. And then create the repository. 
Now, handily for us, Create React app has actually done most of the work here for us. It's, a, it's done the get an it, the add, the commit, and the branch. And now we have to do these final two commands. So first we'll do the get remote add. Now the remote add has connected the repository in this directory to the repository on GitHub. Now, in order to get the code over there, we've got to follow the next command, which pushes the code from this directory into GitHub. And now if I refresh, I can see that the code's been uploaded. I can even click on view code. And it looks exactly the same as what's over in my directory on VS Code. So let's go back to the deployment page again. And the first thing we want to do is change package.json to add this home page key. Now you just paste it in there. And I'm going to change out my username for Jahur, which is my username. And change out my app for starting React, which is the name of the project. Now scroll down a little bit more and we'll see that step two is to install GH pages. So I use yarn, but if you use NPM, that's fine. I'm going to do yarn add GH pages. And then in order to use that, we got to go add some more scripts to the package JSON. So I'll copy in the script commands from the documentation into the scripts in package JSON, starting with pre-deploy and then deploy. And now I'm going to run pre-deploy to go and build what's actually going to go onto GitHub. And that's going to create this build directory. So let's go have a look at that. On OS X, I can use the open command to just open up that directory in the finder. And we can see at the top, we've got index.html. That's the really important part. That's the HTML page that is going to be presented in GitHub pages. There's a lot of other little things around here, logos and whatnot. And then the next most important part is the static directory. Let's have a look at that. And that's got CSS, JS, and media. CSS is whatever CSS we had in the application. JS is the web-packed source code for our React application. And media is the React logo as an SVG. What's really important about all this is you understand that a React app is still just HTML, CSS, JS, and images, and any other kind of media that you've got. All of these frameworks, Angular, Vue, React, they all compile to JavaScript. And the magic happens when that JavaScript is executed on the page and starts filling in the HTML tags. So let's close this up. And now I'm going to deploy the app. So all I have to do is just type in yarn deploy. And that's the really great part. Anytime you want to go and show your work, you just do yarn deploy and it's going to send it up to GitHub. So once that's complete, I can go over into this branches dropdown and we see we have a master and we also have GH pages. And that's for GitHub pages. And that was created by that yarn deploy command and the GH pages library. So now I'm going to go over into settings. If you scroll down to GitHub pages, there's a link right there that you can click on and see the deployed app. Really nice. And it looks exactly like what's on my local machine. But now anybody in the world can look at that app just by bringing up that URL on their phone or their laptop. So now I'm going to start it locally again so you can play around a little bit. So now that we have the inspector open, I can go and click on preferences, scroll down to disable JavaScript and then just refresh the page. And you'll see that it's warning you that you need to enable JavaScript to run this app. And that's because the body of the document, if we look over here to the left, just has a no script tag and this div for root. But we know that there's a lot more going on in there. So what's happening is that the JavaScript that's listed down below is actually going to populate the contents of that root tag. And that's how a React app works 
when it's what we call client-side rendered, which means that all of the rendering of the application is done on the client side. All right, now if I enable JavaScript, we can see that it works again. That's great. And we can see if we look into the elements portion of the Chrome inspector, that we now have all these tags inside of that root tag. We've got a div with class equals app, we've got a header, paragraph tags, we've got a whole bunch of stuff in there. And that's created by that JavaScript that is running the React library that then renders out our application. Okay, well, I hope you've got a React app up on GitHub pages. Next thing to do is to learn how to manage the HTML, how to use what's called the JSX syntax inside of your React app. So that's what the next video is gonna be on. In the meantime, if you have any questions or comments about this video, be sure to put those in the comment section down below. There'll be a link to the newsletter, the Blue Collar Coder newsletter in the description. If you click on that and put in your email, you'll get a newsletter every week that has a day early access to the videos coming out. So that's cool. And you get JavaScript links, uh, tips and tricks, all kinds of cool stuff. And best yet, it's free. So uh, as always, feel free to like and share this video, spread the love, let everybody else know that they can learn React for free on YouTube. And in the meantime, be happy, be healthy, and be safe.